Welcome to the Tioco Podcast, where we discuss the intersection of telecom, technology, and innovation. Today, our focus is on 5G network optimization and why geoanalytics plays such an important role. Our guest today is Daniel Ramirez, who is Tioco's RAN Solutions Manager for Europe. Welcome, Daniel, and thank you for joining. Hi, Barbara. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So today's discussion is on the topic of 5G in ways that operators can optimize network performance. So Daniel, can you explain for us the purpose of network optimization and what challenges these tools help to address? Yeah, so network optimization tools essentially help with the, you know, with the process of collecting measurement data from the network um, and then help you identify problems. Um, they can also provide you potential causes for those problems, and that will in turn help speed up the resolution. Now, some of the challenges that they address include the identification of areas where calls drop, for example, or areas where web conferencing is, is not working properly. And you want to do this because all of these little problems, they add up and end up affecting our experience as, as subscribers and, and should be solved as soon as possible. Right. So it, it sounds like it gives you a little window into the network and uh, some uh, key insights potentially. So uh, as you know from the, from the um, title of this discussion, we touched on the topic of geoanalytics. So why is this, this location data such an important part of, of this process? Yeah, so location is, is critical for the resolution of any problem with, that a user may be experiencing. If you consider that an average cell in a network can cover an area of over a square kilometer or, or a square mile, if you prefer, you, you would see that in that area, you could have a mixture of parks, office buildings, you know, shops, areas that are you know, inside buildings and areas that are you know, outside. So any, anyone who's trying to solve these problems or try to identify these problems will want to know if the user was indoors or outdoors, or if they were inside a building, they would want to know if they were on the lower levels or mid levels or, or at the top, right? Because knowing the location of a user and knowing where they were when they experienced a the problem will just help you understand the issue and then you know, solve it uh, just faster, which is what anyone would want to do. So what's the, what's the name of the Geoco solution that, that helps address some of these issues? So the solution is called uh, Mentor. And Mentor, the Mentor platform is the product of a you know, long expertise uh, from Tioco in the area of, of geolocation. Um, it all goes back to a company called Schema, which became part of Tioco in, in 2012. Schema is a company that developed uh, geolocation and, and optimization algorithms uh, you know, many years ago, and they have uh, or you know, they brought a lot of that experience to Tioco. And we have continued developing it. And, and you know, by now, Mentor has some of the most accurate geolocation algorithms uh, in the market today. And, and that is really the foundation of its uh, analytics and optimization capabilities. Ah, so how does Mentor work and what would be some, some typical use cases? The principle of, of Mentor, the principle of operation, is that it uses some network measurements, which are known as call traces. Um, these call traces contain information about the, the, the experience of a user and help us locate where the issues uh, occur. Some of the use cases, which are very relevant for today or for 5G networks, include, for example, where are 5G users uh, located, what type of handset or device are they using, and another one could be where are 4G users located. And, and the reason why that would be relevant is because if someone is thinking of launching a 5G network, they would want to know where the current 4G users are. Because uh, if you locate your, your towers or your sites where these 4G uh, data users are, then you, know, you have uh, better chances for your data services to, to be taken up and eventually 
you know, get your return on investment uh, much sooner than, than otherwise. All right. Well, that sounds like uh, there's a lot of analytics behind the scenes going on here. And I know you mentioned uh, algorithms. So it sounds like Mentor is, is making use of machine learning and artificial intelligence. Is that is that the case? Yep, actually we do. So machine learning is about systems that can learn from data. They can identify patterns in that data and then make decisions with minimal human intervention. Mentor uses machine learning to improve the accuracy of, of some of its algorithms, in particular, the ones that locate users. So we use machine learning to, to improve um, our recognition of whether a user is indoors or outdoors, and also in what part of the building they are. And that I'm, I'm meaning the sense of, of height. So were they in the lower levels, mid levels, higher levels? Um, and another use of machine learning within Mentor is that it allows it to, to group uh, problems that it has found. And if you group a number of issues around an area, you may be able to find you know, that some of these issues are, are all symptoms of one and the same problem. So this grouping of, of data, which we call you know, clustering in, in technical terms, is another use of machine learning in Mentor. It sounds like it's quite cutting edge, and uh, you guys have been making a lot of investment on this lately. Um, is there anything different about 5G than, than, say, the 4G, 3G, 4G network technologies um, that would require more of a, of a focus on location and geoanalytics in understanding and optimizing the network? Yes. So in one sense, you know, 5G is, is all about providing similar services to, to 4G. But one thing that makes 5G very different from other previous technologies is that it makes use for the first time of uh, what are known as millimeter waves. So millimeter waves are frequencies uh, that are at least 10 times higher than, than, today's, uh, than today's bands. And because of this, they they behave very differently. Uh, for one, millimeter waves don't travel far, and that makes geolocation all the more important because you may, you may have some service that works well in one location, but that it doesn't work at all just 20 meters or 20 yards away. Uh, so I think this, this makes 5G very different and, and geolocation more important than ever. Speaking about location and the importance of it all, I know that uh, drive tests have been a traditional way for for getting a better understanding of the of the user experience. Can you help our audience explain what drive tests are and how perhaps geoanalytics and Mentor can be used to help automate this process? Yes, um, drive test involves some measurement equipment just being driven around cellular towers. Um, and what you're trying to do there is to measure the performance that a subscriber might experience. There are a few issues with it, uh, some technical, uh, but the main one is that they are expensive to conduct. You're looking at a team of, of drivers on a fleet of cars that have to drive around as many streets as possible. So all of that is, is expensive. You're looking at you know, fuel and rentals. Uh, etc and and it's limited it's only so much driving you can do and you can only do it for a few days uh, a year so in contrast to that geoanalytic systems like mentor can take data directly from the subscriber's phone geolocate that information and then extract uh, data which is very similar to that the one that you could get from drive test now here you have the advantage that this can be nationwide, or it is nationwide, so it covers as many streets and locations as there are subscribers in, and it is collected regularly. So you're looking at a much larger uh, sets of data um, with a much, much lower cost. So there's, there's uh, everything to take advantage uh, from, you know, in, in terms of analytics versus drive tests. 
And so in effect, you're basically all your subscribers become your drive testers, right? Sounds like it. Yep. Yeah, so, essentially. <laughs> so how how would you maintain privacy on that on that sense with uh, you know all the privacy laws that are that are out there now? Certainly GDPR um, in Europe. How how is that addressed? Yes, Mentor Mentor is GDPR uh, compliant. Um, you know, Mentor. So we have many of our customers in Europe. So that was really the 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 first point at which we we knew we had to comply to this, but GDPR, even though it's a, it's a very important European regulation uh, that deals with data protection and privacy, it, it ex extends beyond Europe. So, I mean, it's not a law outside of Europe, but many, many customers and many companies are adopting it as a way to ensure, as a gold standard for data protection. So the fact that Mentor is GDPR compliant means that it ensures that any location information is handled with the utmost privacy in mind uh, and customers can be you know, sure of that uh, with, with the confidence that their data is going to be handled in the most sensitive way and any information that needs to be uh, masked, obscured or anonymized, uh, Mentor will take care of that. Well, thanks, Daniel. We are coming up to the end of our time here. I want to thank you for sharing your thoughts on this issue. As uh, network operators continue to roll out their 5G networks, is certainly an important and timely topic. So for our listeners out there, thank you for joining us. And please be sure to share today's discussion with your friends and coworkers if you'd liked it. And you can visit our full library of podcasts at tioco.com or, of course, on our Spotify channel. Also, if you have any follow-up questions for Daniel or if you have any suggestions for future topics, please be sure to send us your comments at podcast at tioco.com. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.